It was just old and dusty and smelled of mothballs. That's great. Big downside, I think, is that it definitely smells. I can smell the petroleum. As long as nothing blows up or falls apart, we're, I guess it's not that bad. That's great. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Zach Does It. Future Zach is back and I'm still covering for the foibles and follies of past Zach where I forget to record my intros and outros. Uh, either way, today we are going to put the heater core housing back together. This is such an exciting moment. We are finally getting all of our components put back together. There's a lot of foam ahead of us. In fact, I don't want to spoil the fun. Uh, I think we are in for a treat as we get all of the individual pieces put back together and all the foam installed on those paddles and around the various orifices on the heater core housing. So it's a lot. I'm not going to take any more of your time. Let's get back to Passac where he's uh, hopefully had a chance to recharge his batteries. Oh, 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 it's not, it's not done yet. Oh, man, he was not kidding when he said that there was a lot of foam in this thing. I mean, he's, he's got to be done soon, right?
Uh, okay, so we are just about done. There's a couple extra pieces of foam I need to put on the face of this housing, um, but it looks beautiful on the inside. It's this new uh, rubberized foam looks good. The big downside I think is that it definitely smells. I can smell the petroleum nature of the rubber. It's, it's hopefully not going to be overbearing when we put it in the car or if it is, hopefully it's a smell that goes away. Either way, I think it's ever so slightly better than the smell of grandmother's closet um, that it had before. You know, it was, it was just old and dusty and smelled of mothballs. Oh, that's where the smell is. It's definitely that foam. Yep, that's the smell. That's my grandmother's closet. Uh, so hopefully this smell does go away. Um, but at a minimum, it at least doesn't smell like that. So that's great. I got to get the foam on here. And I think just looking at the rest of the pieces, I think all of the interior pieces will be ready to install, which means it is now time to soundproof. Uh, this too will probably take far longer than I expect. Um, but Hey, at the end of the day, it's gonna be worth it. We're gonna have a much quieter ride and it's gonna be so much more comfortable. We've got fresh air, we got a fresh dash. Soon, we'll have a very quiet car and uh, you know, within, within days, I think, we'll be able to take her out for the test drive uh, to see how all of these interior changes affect the driving quality. And then beyond that, we've of course got our mechanical check that we'll have to do. We want to change all the fluids and the oil and transmission fluid. And again, everything is going to get touched in this car. And uh, we'll of course have to take it for another test drive to warm all that up before we make the change. But you know, the goal here is that we're, we're doing things in increments and bits and pieces so that number one, we don't get lost. We don't lose any of the pieces that we're working with uh, or confuse ourselves for that matter. There are so many pieces that go into this car that, you know, I, I actually ended up with an extra screw um, and I have no idea where it went. So 
you know, I guess there's, there is a rule or there's a saying that if you don't have extras by the time you're done putting something back together, then you did it wrong. So I guess I'm doing it right for once. That's not right. I, I shouldn't have extras. That's a bad thing. That's a really bad thing. Well, as long as nothing blows up or falls apart, we're, I guess it's not that bad. Hmm. Yes, as, as long as nothing blows up, I guess it's not that bad. Wise words to live by, don't you think? Uh, anyways, on that point, uh, I did make a bit of a mistake, or better yet, Passac made a bit of a mistake. I will not, in fact, be doing soundproofing in the next episode. That should be the next, next episode. Before we even get to that, we still have seats that we need to reassemble before we can put everything back into Mama. So on the next episode, that is going to be our focus. And then from there, from there, I actually do believe we will be reassembling Mama from the ground up, uh, starting with soundproofing and then throwing the rest of the interior back together before finally moving on to those mechanical checks that I've been talking about for months now. So that's super, super exciting. I can't wait to get to some of those later steps. If you're just as excited as I am, be sure to give this a thumbs up and let me know that you're sticking with me this far into the journey. Also, if you've enjoyed this journey so far and you're excited about the next steps, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon. It's good to know how many of you are following me on this journey uh, and giving me your support. It's, I, I can't tell you how helpful it is knowing that the work that I'm doing is helping someone else out. So that's about it for me in this episode of Zach Does It. It's been another good one, I hope, uh, but I can't wait to see you on the next one.